This is the windiest we have ever docked. Oh my god. Slowest bridge opening of our lives. I know, right? We're in North Carolina! There's just like an insane amount of current here. Like the water looks like a washing machine. We're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we booked a one-way flight to Colombia, and after traveling to 11 countries, we were locked down in India for five months. Coming back to the U.S., we decided to pivot into boat life and cruise on a 6,000-mile journey called America's Great Loop. Make sure to subscribe as we share the highs, lows, and everything in between. We have a long day ahead of us, but first, let's get off the dock. We like to run the AC at the dock, but uh, it feels so nice out here. It's like 60 degrees, it's, it's amazing. We have decided to postpone leaving and do our load of laundry today. We uh, couldn't do it yesterday because we didn't get quarters before the office closed, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, so we're gonna do that. It's gonna delay us by like an hour and a half, but you know, we're not planning on being on a, in a marina until the rendezvous in May. And that's like over two weeks from now. So I'm gonna use this time to clean pivots, fill up our water tanks, and overall, do a couple projects that we didn't get to do yesterday. before last you saw us back into this slip which was challenging for us because that's not what we normally do and we might have done it twice or that might have been the second time I don't know but it worked out but we did have our rub rail hit this pylon and I'm gonna show you guys how close it is and kind of the difficulty of us getting out of here today because we have intermittent gusts of like 20 plus knots like here's kind of one um, of course you can't really hear it because of the dead cat but we're so grateful to be leaving forward and have uh, sterned in to the slip because now leaving is gonna be so much easier. It's not always easy for us to do that, but it's something we wanna work on in the future. All right, here is the pylon. Look at the distance from it and the boat. Like, there's no, I mean, the slip is probably like another 18 inches bigger than pivot. And here's on this side. Not a lot of room. The plan is, is that Jen's gonna be marking this pylon right here. Um, and as I'm kind of like watching our uh, starboard side, and then we're gonna make sure once our stern is clear, we, we're, we'll turn and then get out of the channel. But kind of just making sure we don't bang against this pylon because it's literally right there. Alrighty, laundry is done. And I think we, we got, we finished, I wanna say like, 80% of the things on our list, or at least we like started the project. So like we'd need either a hardware piece or, you know, we're testing something. So, you know, we're waiting for time to pass to see how things react. Um, yeah, so that's good because that means that we got quite a bit done, but we're not leaving the dock with a boat, with all our boat projects finished because, you know, we don't want to anger those boat gods. So I think we're in good shape. We're right. in good shape for the shape that we're in. Yeah, ready to head out? Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about lines. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for the uh, advice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Randy and Eileen. They are starting to loop in about a week. Very exciting. Uh, 
job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh. Good job, first mate. for today is twofold. One is safely traveling, well safe always, but we have to make a good amount of miles today for tomorrow. The second thing is refueling. So as you guys know from our Georgetown video, getting diesel was, did not go according to plan, but we just called Grand Dunes Marina, just north, uh, north of Osprey Marina, and they're 455, which is one of the best rates in the whole area. So we're gonna hope that the gusts gonna calm down. We have about 12 miles to get there, so about two hours for us. Uh, and the wind, the wind is supposed to die down throughout the day. So that's that's the goal for the day. Stay cruise. boat that just came in uh, through the ridge ahead of us heading south was from Japan. That's just crazy. A boat that they were flying both flags so I presume that it, it came from Japan like both flags like a Japanese flag and the home flag um, of the United States. Sorry talking really fast. Um, you know it's just so cool like that's so far and they're here in Myrtle Beach in South Carolina and we just crossed paths. I mean, just imagine the journey that they took to get here. It must have been a wild ride. Very cool. It is gonna be tough. What's our motto? Slower than slow. Slower than slow. Yeah. Our approach is usually to get the stern line in first. And then if the stern, if I can't get the stern line on or LA can't get the stern like more aligned, then I go for midship because with our bow thruster, he can very easily like push the bow like forward, or, like left or right, port or starboard. And we always put out three, potentially more fenders. Just in case, some people think that it looks funny to have out all your fenders. You know what? Teach their own. How are you doing? Are you ready? Okay. Alright, let's go. like that fueled up $869 190 gallons so make sure to check out our budget expense report that'll come out at the end of the month to see how that plays into everything but Jen just told me our expenses as of now are almost identical to what they were at the end of last month so you know just is what it is we shouldn't need to fuel up for another month and a half though, so that'll be nice. We filled up extra high. I don't think we've ever filled up 190 gallons, so now we just need to 
have a safe departure in the dock here. And continue our cruise. Now we have the wind pushing us off the dock, so that's great. Just trying to make sure we don't. King success. Our next uh, hurdle challenge, whatever you call it, is gonna be the rock pile. Now, the rock pile is an area of the Intracoastal. It was supposedly one of the last areas to be dredged, and so it was, basically they used dynamite to break up the rocks, and since it was the very last bit, they ran out of money, and they were running out of money, and so there's very little bit outside of the channel. So it's very unforgiving. If you go on the outside, you could run into a rock, which means you could, you know, put a hole in your boat. You could burn. You could bend a propeller. A lot of bad things that could happen. But we've been there twice now. Bob four two three tracks are on point, and so we're gonna cruise right on through. Uh, take our time, of course. Go nice and slow, and just stick to the line. Whatever Jen's cooking it smells. Oh my god. I'm the luckiest man in the world. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Airport. Wow. Is that a tofu scramble? Yeah. With, with, oh my god. I don't want to hear that you're hungry after this. Oh okay. my. That's this is amazing. Wow, I love you too. I'm gonna come up with mine and then I'll eat with you and then take over. Okay. Not need to go anywhere fast, pivot. Slow it down, girlfriend. Slow it down. Okay, I am not comfortable with this. Bow thruster on, baby. Jeez, the current is like really strong. Okay, my stern is going out. Oh my god. Slowest bridge opening of our lives. I know, right? It's because the boat gods knew that I was doing this, so they were like, ha ha ha, ha ha. Now see, you're okay, backing now, up yeah. to. This is making me really anxious. It's like, you just like, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, the trick is, you, once you start evening out, that's when you let it go. Because it's going to keep evening out. It's the momentum. Yeah. A wheel a little bit. And you said I could do this by myself. You're doing a good that's job. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. got to be fun. This is a very stressful bridge opening. Now it's good. That was seriously the slowest bridge opening of my entire life. <laughs> that was painful. Have a great day. Have a great day, pivot. Little River Swing Bridge. Motor vessel pivot is through the bridge. Thank you for the opening. You're welcome. Enjoy your day. You too. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now there's another one. This one's tall. Okay, okay. Oh, thank you. Have a great day. Gosh, that was so stressful. Holy cow. That was the only one, right? Uh, there I might think be so. another one coming. Good job. Woo! 
Uh, thank you for being up here because otherwise, I would have been banging, banging, banging. <laughs> Get up here now! <laughs> This is an emergency! <laughs> My feet are sweating! Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. I literally, my feet are like, they feel pruny. <laughs> they feel so pruny. We have a rule, and that's never travel in South Carolina on a Saturday. Or it's Sunday. Or Sunday, on the weekends, because, I mean, there's just so many boats. A lot of them are pontoon boats. Some of them probably, they're just, you know, renting the boat, so they're not as knowledgeable in the waterways. And just a lot of bigger boats are very inconsiderate. We just got waked like three times, like back to back to back. And that's even with us already throttling back. And this isn't even a Saturday, but this is a Friday afternoon. So it's probably, you know, leaning on to it. But, you know, last time when we left Myrtle Beach coming north, we left on a Saturday and that was the worst waking we ever got. Uh, we almost got ran into by a pontoon boat, hence the rule. So we're pushing it by, by transiting on a Friday. But luckily Jen is doing a fantastic job. Overall, the voting community is friendly. However, yeah. there are quite a few non-friendly voters. Yeah. They're more than I would like to admit. Yeah. It sucks to have that one or two bad voters give you such a bad feeling about an area. And sometimes those boats are not even from the area. They just cross paths in the area. Like the boats we got waked from today, I don't even know if they were all from Myrtle Beach, but this is where they waked us, you know? And we haven't been awake that much this loop so far, so. It is what it is. We're in North Carolina! Woo! State number four! Woo! Oh, I thought it was three. Woohoo! Right? Four yeah, it is. Seven. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Nice! That's awesome! We made it! Good job, yeah, Ollie! Wow, we all did it because of you. Yeah, you're the real MVP. We all know Ollie's the true MVP. Yeah, we all know that's why you watch her channel. Yeah. It's not for us. It doesn't it's not hurt for our the feelings. adventure. It's for Ollie. We get it. We know. It's okay. At the puppers. Friends, you want to go play? Yes. Oh, I want to go play. Let me go sniff. We are continuing our cruise today, and this area, this inlet, is, there's just like an insane amount of current here. Like the water looks like a washing machine. Um, it's pretty gnarly, and it's about 6:15. We are wrapping up our cruise shortly, but it's been a day, a very, very long day, but a good day. No problems. Knock on wood. Uh, uh. We were wondering if this sailboat was aground because they are in the shoaly area. 8.4 knots. Like an hour and a half left, so we're going to be anchoring at sunset in a new anchorage. Which is not how we like to do it. It's how we love to do it. No, it's not. Okay. Sorry, I thought that's where you were going. Uh, it's not how we like to do it, but that's just how it is today.
cruising at this time of day. It just, the sun and the light makes everything look amazing. And um, yeah, we have the moon out ahead of us. We have the sun setting behind us. It's just, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We are coming up to our anchorage too. Our cruising is pretty much done for the day. We have another, let's see, another 15 minutes until we arrive at our destination. And it'll be a completely new anchorage to us. But we're basically pulling off time tomorrow. So make sure you're subscribed to see what happens manana. <laughs> Make up your mind. But as you can see, Ollie uses her grass business pad as a bed. Um, today, <laughs> we were talking about it just like last night that we want to like restart like being a little bit more particular about trying to get Ollie to do her business on the her business pad. So we'll be putting it down um, on the decks, but this girl, she just uses it as a bed. So practice, practice, practice. It, it's important for us to work with her, so that's what we're gonna continue doing. And, and that practice, we are not taking her out tonight. So, I mean, we did take her out when we filled up fuel, but she probably will be, like, will not even, like, try to go. She'll probably just sleep. She's half dog, half bladder. But yeah, it starts like this. I oh, look at the birds. We are anchors down. It, this is not the best anchorage. Um, it's a little shallow for us. Uh, not too shallow, but it's a little shallow. We're here at the penultimate high tide. Uh, and so we have 4.8 feet additionally. Coming in, I saw like seven feet. And right here, where our, where our uh, boat is fully extended from our anchor chain and everything, it's like seven feet. So seven minus five is two feet. We draw three and a half. With the way our depth sensor is set up, that's like right above the ground. It's not on the ground, it's right above the ground. Uh, fortunately, we are leaving tomorrow at high tide again, well, a rising tide. So we'll be in this anchorage for only 10 hours. So yeah, we're not too worried about it. Well, if we do touch the bottom tonight, which is unlikely, then we'll be off tomorrow when we're off tomorrow. Today we had leaving a dock, getting on to another dock to get fuel, leaving that dock, rock pile, Myrtle Beach <laughs> on a Friday afternoon. On a Friday afternoon, with like good, decent weather and sunshine, and what else? And a very, very long cruise. It was a day. It was a day. Full day. Absolutely. And for tonight, for dinner, I made us some like salad bowls. You can't smell them, but they smell amazing. Yeah, there's lettuce, there's bell pepper, tomato, cucumber. Uh, we have a lentil walnut, but you could easily do like a, you know, ground beef kind of, you know, Mexican style. Yeah. And then there's homemade guac and sour cream and cilantro. It's going to be good. And so 
The reason why we did 10 hours today will explain tomorrow. But basically, we are leaving at Odark 30. But we have a short cruise. So yeah. you would think Odark 30 cruising for 12 hours. Nope. Hopefully it's no more than three or four. Yeah. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Ugh, my feet are sweating, like profusely sweating. Oh my gosh. And they're in Allbirds, so they're gonna smell. This is great. This is so great. This is excellent. This is great. This is so great. This is excellent. Oh, Once you pass. It's not a spoiler, it's just a preview. Okay. Into, uh, what did we have? This, what, what, where did we come why, from? Why, why are we here right now? Where did we come from? What is love? Love. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt Where me. Did you come from? No, no. Where did we come from? Where did we go? Where did we come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Savannah. Oh, Myrtle Beach. Savannah was Wait, like a few oh. weeks ago, maybe. Oh, yeah. Myrtle Beach. That was days ago, too. Why did we.